But, um, so yeah, we can see OT doesn't really solve problem really easily. It's really, really complex, but it's not the only solution. We've got more solutions. So let's take a look at other solutions. And we will start with different patch, which seems really nice idea, even in the end it's not actually so great. So it comes from Niall Fraser, uh, from, uh, who is a Google engineer, and I'm just showing you actually this example because even if it's not necessarily like the best one, I think uh, Niall had a really crucial understanding of operational transform machine problem. And we are going to see this like very quickly. So the idea is quite easy to understand. It's really similar, a similar concept like what tools we use daily as developers like Git or SVN. So what does it look like? We have our current document on which we are making edits but the system actually um, still have in memory a previous version of the documents. You know, it's like the last version we've pushed on the servers. It's called the shadow document. And we have the current document when we've just made all edits. Then, using a diff tool, we are going to make the difference between those two edits to make a patch out of it. This is the idea. And this patch is going to be sent to other people on the network and it's going to be applied uh, on, uh, on over remote sites, okay? And the really interesting idea, we are going to see it like right now. So let's consider that the user is starting with this sentence. The cat is nice. My cat is very nice. And then he wants to change it to the cat is mean, okay? So we can, for example, use the diff we typically have uh, in our tools, which are usually trying to make minimal patch, okay? So here, if we look uh, at it, what is it going to do? It's going to remove NIC because it detected that actually the three letters are not here anymore. Then it's going to keep the E, and then it's going to add A, A, N, okay? But somehow it's hard to understand, like for humans, when we see that, we need to think a little bit to see, oh yes, that's right, this is the way it is. So this is for a minimal patch. But already, if you take a word patch, or a semantic patch, here it's a word patch, then in this case, you can see that we transform nice to mean, and we keep the user intention. The user intention was to change the word nice to mean. And here, this is preserved, okay? And this is where it's really good, this kind of approach and the crucial understanding about it, is that in our first example with operational transformation, we had this thing where we say insert Y uh, at before position two, but we lose the concept of between B and C, and this is really important. So the problem with operational transformation is that it's index space, and here with a patch, it's context space. It keeps this information between B and C. So it really capture user intention, okay? Right for everyone, yes? Good, 